Yo, what's up everybody? I'm Akeem Lawanson and in today's Fix for Entertainment news, does Netflix really have plans to raise subscription prices after the SAG strike ends? Well, we give you the lowdown on that story, plus an update on the sequel to Joaquin Phoenix's Joker movie, and a whole lot more in today's Fix. Let's drop it. <laughs> In a move that'll likely upset subscribers, Netflix is reportedly cooking up a plan to raise subscription prices after the actor's strike ends. Now, according to a Wall Street Journal report, the streaming giant will hike up the price of its ad-free plans months after sag after strikes a deal with Hollywood. Now, it's unclear how much pricing will increase or why the streaming service is even planning for this increase. And we're also not 100% certain on the validity of the Wall Street Journal report as there's no direct comment from Netflix. But it wouldn't be a surprise to see an increase in its services. Now, last year, we saw an increase across the board from Netflix's subscription offerings. And earlier this year, Netflix implemented its password sharing crackdown with the option to pay an extra $7.99 to share an account with someone outside of your primary household. Now, there could be some credence to this report, however, as with the new contract worked out with the WGA, streaming services will now have to share a certain streaming data with its writers so that they can track the performance of the content they worked on. Plus, there's a minimum compensation increase of 18% for writers who worked on high-budget films on streaming services with a 26% residuals increase. Now, overall, that's a about a 0.2% take of Netflix's annual revenue. Now, similar stipulations could be worked out on the SAG side of things, which could be why Netflix is supposedly planning on increasing its subscription prices. Now, instead of taking on the cost themselves, it'll look to offset that cost by raising prices for consumers. Again, not something a lot of people will be happy to hear. But hearing this news, share your thoughts on this potential price increase after the SAG strike ends down below. Now, in other news, we have a new picture of Joaquin Phoenix's Joker thanks to director Todd Phillips. Now, Joker Folly Adu is set to release next year, October 4th, and in honor of the movie being a year away, Phillips teased this image of Joker embracing the rainy weather in Gotham. Now, as this is, in fact, going to be a musical, perhaps this is a nod to the classic 1952 film, Singing in the Rain. Now, Phillips captioned the photo, quote, October 4th, thanks for all the messages. Four years ago, we had quite a ride. Lots of great memories, more to come. Now, the film will also see Lady Gaga as Harley Quinn. Now, you might remember seeing this photo of Gaga walking down court steps in Gotham. Now, Todd Phillips previously shared a photo on Valentine's Day, giving us our first glimpse of the psychotic couple together. Though in that one, Lady Gaga hadn't yet donned the clown makeup. That was her as Dr. Harleen Quinzel, with Todd sharing a more close-up image of her as Harley Quinn to celebrate the film's wrap. Now, between the first film and the images Todd Phillips has teased, we have a small idea as to what the movie will look like. But few details are actually known about what audiences can expect from the plot of the film. All we know is that it'll be a psychological thriller with musical elements thrown in for good measure. How that'll play out remains to be seen. To note, the movie will be part of the new DC Elseworlds set of films, which exists outside the scope of the mainline DCU movies James Gunn and Peter Safran have planned. And finally, in sad news for iCarly fans from around the globe, the reboot, revival, continuation, whatever you want to call it, on Paramount Plus has been canceled after three seasons. Now, in a statement, a Paramount Plus spokesperson said, quote, iCarly will not be returning for a fourth season on Paramount Plus. The series had a great three season run and delivered on what fans really wanted to see with Carly and Freddie finally getting together. We want to thank the entire cast, the writers, directors, and producers, along with the whole crew for their dedication, creativity, and talent. Now, I'm pretty sure you all knew there was an iCarly revival with some of the original cast returning, but I know for certain you didn't know that there were three seasons worth of the series on Paramount+. Plus. Like, time sure does fly by when you're really not paying attention. But if you are, in fact, curious, you can check it out on the streaming service if you have the time. All right, that about wraps it up for this episode of The Entertainment Fix. I'm Kim Lawanson. Thank you so much for watching. Now that you're caught up on today's news, please check out our previous video. Download the IGN app on all your devices. If everything else, stick with IGN.